I'm Eileen, and I'm here to work on an art project with you today where we're going to practice drawing sunflowers. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, some paper or a sketchbook, and um, you can use crayons or colored pencils too. Anything that you have that you'd like to use to add color later. So, have you ever seen sunflowers growing? I brought one with me today. And this little guy, kind of a smaller sunflower, grew in my garden. And um, perhaps you have some in your garden at home. They are quite beautiful and can be very large. Some can grow to be over 12 feet tall. The tallest sunflower was grown in the Netherlands and was over 25 feet tall. Perhaps you've grown some of your own. The name sunflower comes from its scientific name, Helianthus. Helios means sun and anthos means flower. So there's some anthos in other um, flowers. You might have heard of chrysanthemums. So anyway, um, young sunflowers, if you've noticed, they track the sun. So in the morning, they follow the sun with their faces. First they face east, and then as the sun crosses the sky, the sunflower turns up and follows the sun all the way to when there's sunset in the west. And so they do that to get their energy from the sun to grow. But something that's kind of mysterious is during the night when no one's watching and it's dark, the sunflowers in a sunflower field will slowly turn back around and wait for the sunrise to come up. So in the early morning, they're already facing east again, waiting for the sun. It's not really magic, which it seems to be to me, but the truth is the sunflower grows, one side of the stem gets its energy from the sun, and then the other side catches up with it and also grows the other side. So it's all about um, energy, and you're learning a lot about that in school. So, sunflowers grew wild and were originally cultivated by Native Americans as a source for food. Archaeologists estimate that the sunflower cultivation dates back more than 8,000 years ago in what is now South America, Mexico, and the American Southwest. This picture shows an image of the sunflower used in pre-Columbian art before the Spaniards arrived. The sunflower symbol was a very important design, as you can see, on their pottery, on the buildings they built, and so forth. Native Americans used the seeds to make flour and also for medicine and dye for coloring fiber, baskets, and more. The seeds have high fat content, so they were very useful for high energy food. They made the first power bars, or sunflower cakes, with which to travel. When the explorers brought the seeds back to Spain in the 1600s, they had no cameras to take photos of these extraordinary live flowers. So an artist drew these pictures in a book with the explorers and he presented it to the king of Spain, these very drawings that you see here. It would have been impossible to keep the sunflowers alive for the months long sailing trip back to Spain. Many painters such as Van Gogh and Monet have enjoyed painting sunflowers. Here is an example by Claude Monet. Notice how the flowers were painted in a very skinny vase and how the flowers face different directions. Some face you, some face left, while others look up or to the right. Today we are going to practice drawing flowers like these facing different directions. So today we're going to hold our paper landscape format. So that is the long way instead of the tall way. 
And we want to make room for three sunflowers up here. Um, so we're going to start in the upper high part of the paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the shape of the sunflower. So for example, whoops. For example, we want to see the shape of the flower when it's facing straight at us. Next, we'll look at a sunflower looking up. And the last one will be a side view of the sunflower. So you notice how you probably learned to draw circles and ellipses, possibly with Miss Denise. So this is something we're going to practice today. So at the top of your paper, um, we're going to draw a circle very, very lightly. This is where you're going to draw a very light circle. I'm going to draw it a little heavier so you can see it. But you want to be able to erase this, because this is just a guide for us. OK? So when we look at a sunflower, we look at the face. And it has a center point. So we're going to just draw in the center of the sunflower. And it's OK if it's a little bit off. So that's the flower looking at us. So we're going to take our pencils and create the petals around this with the flower facing us. So we do that starting at the center. And you can start anywhere you want and draw lines up to a point and then back down to the center. Up to the point and back down to the center. We're going to do that all the way around. If it's easier for you to turn your paper while you do it, that might be a good thing for you to try. OK, so up to the outside, up to the outside, back to the center. And you just keep going with this all around. Remember to stay kind of true to your guide. That's why you put it there, to give you a stopping point. OK, and however many fit in. If there's some spaces, you can add some other petals behind, right, like this. But you don't have to fill in every spot. Maybe I'll add one up here. So there we have our first sunflower facing us. And I'm going to go ahead and put a stem in. When we look at the stem of a sunflower, it's pretty thick. It has to be pretty strong in order to hold up this big sunflower head, right? So I'm going to add a stem to this. And it can be straight or a little curvy. And make it a little bit thick so that it feels like it could hold the sunflower. So we'll talk about adding leaves, too. So we've got the sunflower leaf. I'll pull one off here so you can see it next to the paper. So the sunflower leaf is a little bit like a heart shape, but not quite. It's big, and it has shaggy little edges. So we're going to try and draw that. But it's going to be coming off the stem with this stem of its own, right? So it comes off here. And then we create the almost heart-shaped leaf. And you can make it kind of jagged to a point. And they also have veins. And I'm going to look at this myself so I can see they have veins that come like this. One down the middle and two off to the side. And these also have little veins coming off. But you don't have to worry about too much detail right now because we're going to add color. Now we're going
going to look at a sunflower. And the face is going to be facing a little bit up. So this involves creating a different guide for our sunflower. So this time, we're going to move over to the right, and we're going to draw a, an ellipse lightly. Remember, we want to draw lightly so that in case we make a mistake, we can erase it, and it's our guide. <laughs> so within this ellipse, and again, it's not perfect, we're going to draw another ellipse inside, which will create the center for the flower looking upward. It's a little different than this one. So with this, we're going to do the same thing. But we're going to do something a little tricky first. Before we draw all of these, these petals around, we're going to draw some petals that are going to come up in front of the flower of the center of the flower. So just a couple that give us the idea that we're just seeing part of this. Then we're going to go back and the same thing that we did last time. Up to the outer edge and back, to the outer edge and back. And you don't have to go in a straight line, and if it helps you to turn your paper while you draw going around, you're welcome to do that. And keep going around. These are the petals that are in the front. And it's hard sometimes to talk and draw at the same time. Okay, we'll fit one in there. So now we have a center, and we have the flower. And remember, the guide, the guide will be erased afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the guidelines. I didn't erase these, but you can take your time and do that at any point. Probably before you color them is, is a good time to get rid of the guide circles. Okay. I don't have a fancy brush like Denise does. <laughs> you can use your hand. So, and then we want to draw a stem on this flower too. Again, we want it to be sturdy. And maybe we'll draw a couple of leaves on this one. Remember, it's kind of a heart shape with little jaggeds coming off of it. So you can turn that into a jagged one. And maybe let's do, since we're getting good at these leaves, let's draw one that's a little smaller. And we can add more detail later. So now we have two sunflowers so far, one looking straight at us, one looking upward. And I know you're waiting for the coloring part. That comes next. Let's draw a flower that's going to be looking at these two flowers over here. All right, so we're going to draw an ellipse again, but this time the ellipse is going to be kind of vertical. Okay, so that's our guideline, and we're going to draw another ellipse in the center to match. Could be big, could be small. Nobody's flowers are ever drawn the same way twice. So yours are going to be very different from mine. They're going to be special because you drew them. So we're going to do the same trick we did here. We want to put a few of 
the petals covering the center. And that will tease us into thinking it's facing to the right. Okay, so same thing. Now you're probably going to be getting pretty good at this. Getting the petals to go around to the outside and in. You can use this for lots of different things you're drawing. And it's a good idea to look at some sunflowers while you're doing this. You might like to make your petals a little thinner, or sometimes the petals on flowers are kind of wavy like that. So you be you and make your own as you like them. So I'm going to get rid of the guideline that I drew very lightly. But it helped me. It helped me picture the sunflower in that direction. And this time I'm going to draw a stem that comes off to the side that shows that the flower has turned. And now it's looking at these guys. And Remember how to do this? And maybe this is going to have a leaf up here. So the fun part that you'll probably enjoy, and I'll get you started here, is the coloring. So when we look at the color of sunflowers, they're just so beautiful. Different shades of yellow and gold, and sometimes they're red sunflowers. So I'm going to start with a little yellow. And we'll start with the one on the left. And you can color the petals. I'm using a colored pencil right now. But you know, use whatever you have. If you have crayons or markers or oil pastels or even watercolors, if you happen to have those, those are fun to use. So notice I'm coloring the petals that cover the center here. And we'll go around. First, and then I'm going to come back and maybe get a brown for the center. So you want to draw and color the center with a darker color doesn't have to be brown. It could be black. Or maybe very dark blue would be fun. And I'm coloring the center of the flower. Did you know that actually in the center of the sunflower, there are lots of little flowers? I never knew that. But it looks kind of like there's little seeds. And this is before the seeds have fallen out. So we can put a little texture in here by adding some of those black seeds in the center. How many of you like sunflower seeds to eat? They are sure yummy. The birds love them. OK, and then maybe we'll work on some leaves, leaf color.
and the stem. Try to make the leaves look like they really are coming out of the stem, like they're one thing. A natural. So I'm going to finish coloring this guy. And don't be afraid to use like darker, darker colors to show a little shadow in that stem. One side might be a little darker than the other because the sunflower here is facing the sun this way. So maybe there's a little shadow on the other side. Anyway, you can have a lot of fun with this. Now I would go ahead and keep coloring the rest of the sunflowers. And again, you can erase those guidelines a little more. And actually, maybe, Maybe you want to draw a picture of sunflowers growing in a garden like this. This is one that I finished earlier. But maybe you want to draw one that's like the one that Monet painted in the other figure. So we're going to put up the other picture of Monet's sunflower in the vase and to give you inspiration to keep coloring and creating your picture. So, that's it for the sunflowers today. Bye.